All right. Uh, we've got a question from Noah here about uh, piloting, excuse me, piloting co-management. I have my first device there and it's in pilot for software updates. Is there anything special I need to do in SCCM or does everything flip to Intune automatically? And I think I can take that one. Go uh, ahead. Because we've talked about this a couple of times um, because there are definitely things that you want to double check, assuming since we're talking about software updates, that that is the workload that you've moved over to pilot. And yes, um, in theory, everything's supposed to magically flip and just work wonderfully uh, like all things do with Windows updates, of course. But... And then we have the real world, right? That's right. We do have the real world. So a couple of things to look out for, um, because I did see uh, Noah followed up saying anything in GPO that I might need to change. Absolutely. If you have anything set on that device or the devices that you are starting to pilot and move over, anything in group policy that you have set for disabling Windows updates or setting source or anything like that, set them back to not configured. You do not want the group policies configured. Uh, similarly, though, again, it's supposed to work fine with co-management settings. If you have specific config manager update configurations in your client settings, for example, I would get rid of those as well and just move everything for those pilot collections and then later on your full Intune collections, uh, step back and set them to not configured. Now we have a couple of uh, resources that we, that we usually um, share on this topic. Uh, one is a blog post that I did a little while back that is now posted on the Deployment Research blog. Uh, this one is a little uh, a little more... <laughs> right? I agree, Kylo. Windows updates, they just don't... They don't work all the time, as you would expect. So um, if I can <laughs> request some help. <laughs> Um, do you want to, uh, do you mind throwing up my screen for a moment? Uh, I don't mind at all. Uh, he's, he's very opinionated. He's got a lot of opinions about windows updates. Uh, as you do. Of as course. I'm, horse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we can sit here and share our opinions for a little while as well. Um, uh, but I've got a blog post here that's now up on the deployment research, uh, uh blog, um, that's a, a little bit more um, basic, I would say. Uh, there's a CM pivot query to check for a number of registry keys that absolutely need to be changed over um, <clears throat> when you're when you're piloting Windows Update for business. Uh, so there's a, a CM pivot query here that will check those registry keys and see if they're set to one. You really want them set to zero. So there's also a very uh, simple, straightforward script that you can import into Config Manager here and run that on your devices to ensure that those registry keys are set to zero. Now, if you really, really want to deep dive, uh, and I would not be surprised if you have to, uh, Ben Whitmore wrote uh, an encyclopedia and on basically co-management, dual scan, scan source, a bunch of different settings and conflicts that you can run into. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal post. Um, but it is a deep dive. Um, 24 volumes, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it's it's fantastic. But um, if if the, the resolution to the problem isn't here or in some of the uh, supplemental links and resources that Ben has in this post. Um, maybe just reimage the device <laughs> and <laughs> start from scratch. Um, so I will yeah. make sure to share both of these links uh, today. Um, these are sort of the ones that, that I refer to often uh, at this point. <clears throat> 